today, an exclusive interview with David Noronha, 25-year veteran, award-winning actor, writer, producer, and director. Numerous TV and film credits. Jack Ryan, Designated Survivor, The Mentalist, One Tree Hill, Jersey Boys, and others. Stick around for a fun time with Calculated Development and David Noronha. From a failed state, a country in chaos, it's impossible to properly screen them, and you cannot guarantee that one of them does not intend to harm us. Ma'am, the people of Florida are scared. Governor. In 1980, Congress passed the Refugee Act, empowering the federal government to place refugees across this country. Sir, that was, what, 36 years ago? Times have changed, and our country must change with them. But change does not mean that we abandon our principles. If we don't let these people off the plane... We'll send in the guard? David Neronia, thank you so much for taking this interview with us. This is amazing. So just to dive right in, um, as a producer, director, writer, actor... Um, you make a lot of decisions and especially about which projects to work on. Um, how does the story influence your choice of projects uh, versus producer, director, money, business, those kinds of things that factor in as well? Yeah, it's, it's the only thing that matters. It's, it, to me, it's, it's, the, it's the most important thing. I think it begins and ends with story. I think we've all seen a poorly executed film. I think the most painful are not just the ones that are bad, but the ones that could have been great had we taken the time to work out those things on paper uh, when it's the easiest to do. So I, I think for me, my itch, like if you, you know, the day that I die on my tombstone, all my epitaph will be <laughs> story. In fact, my production company, Quentista, means storyteller in, in Spanish. So for me, it's the central thing. I think it's the most important thing at the heart of, of any piece that we do. Speaking of that, you've got a, a signed letter of intent on, on Calculated uh, as the father in the role of the father of our hero. Um, what is it about Calculated that led you to be interested in this project? I think from page one. I mean, it's one of those, it's one of those page turners. I was thinking about it today and I was thinking it's like for me personally, you know, and uh, you guys know the story better than I do. Uh, you're the visionaries behind it, as is Nova McBee. But I think the thing that strikes me from page one is that it reminds me of like, uh, you know, searching for Bobby Fisher meets the Bourne trilogy. It's got that heart and that intelligence of Bobby Fisher, of, of a child that is this, I mean, to say yeah. prodigy, it's a euphemism, with all of that page turner you know, what happens next, what happens next, international thriller aspect to it uh, with all this blending of language and culture. I mean, honestly, it's, it's the thing I want to watch, uh, let mm -hmm. alone be Friday night. So uh, yeah, I think it's just, it's a great yarn from page one that just grabs you by the throat and doesn't let go. I had that experience as well. And in fact, many people seem to have that experience with reading the novel. Um, with so much experience in, in uh, making motion picture and series, what do you think, what kind of potential do you think that this uh, novel to movie um, has? I mean, I think it's a blockbuster. I, I, and I think it's so timely as well because mm. it's got all these cultural international elements in it uh, with all of the plot around China and Shanghai, which is just so, I mean, it's such an amazing culture with so much that, I want to find out more about with this juxtaposition of Seattle and that whole culture. It's got this mm -hmm. tech and math stuff happening right now, which we're living in the moment of, you know, big data and uh, the power of, of that to shape humanity and, and uh, the global economy. So, I mean, it's timely in that respect, but I think for me, more than all of that stuff is at the heart of it, this young girl. And I think we're standing in a moment right now where, women for the first time, you know, the world and all of humanity is backing women to be fully who they are. And so the protagonist for me is a dad who has a four-year-old daughter mm. to have a, a young female protagonist at the heart of this kind of story for me is kind of groundbreaking to, to, to be quite honest with you. And again, just as a dad, I hope, I hope to be able to support. I mean, the story for me is personal because I've got a four-year-old little girl and I'm still seeing her take shape. I don't know fully who she's going to be. Mm -hmm. So every time I read something as an actor, you know, with the, with the, you know, the honor of, of playing this role of the dad catching a glimpse of the future of what my relationship with 
a daughter could be uh, who has this kind of ability and the sense of responsibility in that for me is just, uh, I don't know, man, it just gets me, I love movies that hit me in the heart, mm -hmm. hit my adrenaline gland and get me, ex you know, and get me thinking as well. And this book, and I think this film do that. You, you know, um, you got me thinking, we, it's, it's such a privilege to have you and have your time right now. I, I just want to ask for our, our uh, listening audience, what of all the many roles you've played, What's one of your favorite roles you've, you've played as, as an actor? Gosh, it's a, it's a great question. Uh, um, for me, I think a fun one, a fun one, and then I'll tell you one that was meaningful, but I'll, I'll never forget when I was doing this show uh, with uh, James Spader and uh, William Shatner, and I was, I was opposite them in this show that was short-lived, but it was, it was still cool for me. And I'm in the middle of a scene with William Shatner, and he had the lion's share of the dialogue as one would expect because it's William Shatner and the show is called Boston Legal. And uh, he's going off at, uh, at me, you know, I'm playing a lawyer. And honestly, for the entire shoot, while he's yelling at me, all I'm thinking is, is I'm in a scene with Captain Kirk. That, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. this is so crazy and this is so cool. I'm in a scene with the original Captain Kirk. So that was a fun one. I think for me, the one that was meaningful as an actor, I mean, there's all the fun stuff like the Jack Ryans and getting to travel to Columbia and doing all those things. They're fun, but there's a lot of times sometimes just sitting in a trailer or away from your family. And that's, that's the, the other side of things. You know, there's the shiny side wow. and then there's the cost of doing a thing, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think I had two great theatrical experiences uh, real quick. Uh, I got to play Irving Berlin in this bio musical and he's obviously, you know, he wrote God bless America, white Christmas, uh, you know, a thousand. Oh, wow. He wrote the American song catalog essentially. And I'll never forget after playing uh, Irving Berlin in this musical at the Pasadena playhouse that I was there in the green room and somebody knocks on the door and I step out and somebody introduces me to Irving Berlin's daughter. Oh, wow. And she had traveled from Paris to see this musical about her dad. And uh, she's standing in front of me and there were few words exchanged. Her friend uh, or somebody who was there was, was doing most of the talking and we were both just looking at each other. And then she did, it was one of the most beautiful compliments I've ever received in my life. I had permed my hair to get the curls that Irving Berlin had, done all this research on him. And she looked at me and, and after saying nothing, she said, you remind me of my father. And that's all I needed, man. I will carry that in my heart to have the daughter of the man, that <laughs> American song, that just say, you reminded me of my father. I'm like, okay, good. Jesus, you can take me now. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sad. So yeah, that was a really meaningful one. Well, great, great experiences uh, for you. And we're looking for great experiences to have with you too in this, uh, in this. We'll cart you off to Shanghai. <clears throat> Deal. Thank you so much for your time as well. Uh, may may ask you to uh, to share a little bit more as we uh, progress on the script, and you get a chance to take a look at that. Uh, but but this this was awesome. Thanks so much for sharing your um, your professional focus and and connection with the picture with us. My pleasure, guys. Thanks, David. That was awesome.